there's over 600 attacks that have been recorded, killing, uh, mutilation, kidnapping. The reason why people with albinism are being attacked is the belief by witch doctors and other supporters of witchcraft that the body parts of persons with albinism can generate wealth and can generate good luck when used in magic potions. There's a lot of myths around albinism. People with albinism are ghosts, they're not persons. Uh, women with albinism possess cure for HIV AIDS, therefore sexual intercourse with them will cure HIV AIDS. Um, things such as people with albinism don't die, they disappear. There was another example in Tanzania where the girl was, um, a, a young girl of five years old was, was butchered and her body parts taken. When her family um, uh, woke up in the morning when, when the, the perpetrators left, they all kind of, they brought out her body outside and laid it on the floor and they waited, they were waiting for her to disappear. It was very troubling when this came from the parents and her uncle who were the ones waiting beside her remains. A few hours later, nothing. Then close to afternoon, they're like, well, looks like this case is unusual, she's not disappearing, so they took her and buried her. And when they were asked, why did you, why, why, who told you they disappear? They said we were taught in school that they disappear, so we were waiting for her to disappear. I think the last five to ten years has brought out a lot of advocacy. Um, Non-governmental organizations have sprung up that didn't exist before. In fact, this issue was didn't have a voice. Un unfortunately, it was the attacks that actually gave the issue a voice. I have seen, even in the media, the way it's talked about is far more education on the issue. In terms of journalists in Africa, is to have them do edu well-educated reporting. Because sometimes they report on cases and then provide falsehoods about albinism, not intentionally, but they just don't know. So just basic training on what albinism is. So I encourage them to work with uh, organizations on the ground or just phone them up and ask questions before they publish so that they don't inadvertently spread myths. In terms of international journalists, we need uh, investigative journalists um, first and foremost to help us with more deeper reporting on the issue. I can never underestimate the power of the media. My message to uh, leaders in Africa, this issue is a litmus test of their willingness to protect vulnerable people.